Hey guys, Kill here. Welcome back to Remember Me. Come on. Just fight me already. I'm gonna beat you to death. Fugitive Nicholas. Yeah. I'm gonna fluff around the arena. No rule! No fuck! Finally get this on you then. How about this? Ah! <laughs> Since then works well. Yes! Popped him on in the jaw! Can't ruin his teeth anymore, that's for sure. Okay. You've earned a taste of oh, kids' hammers. I don't it's time. Really to buy that just, to that's just tacky. The Spider! Yes! Come on! Uh, you! You! It's number one! Alright. Facing your face. Bet you felt that. <laughs> oh, what? You didn't even hit me. You failed. Boom! Right there. How do you like that Christmas present? Come on! You can take it! One of my favorite fights is actually the, uh, Hogan Snake fight. That was my favorite for, for Better Good Fellow 3. That's an illusion. What? He hit me? Really? In that mode? Gonna kick him. Kicking is a lot better. Not great. Dang, I suck. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> it's actually going a lot quicker than the PS3 version, too. Oh, probably because I don't know how to play it now. Well, well done, big girl. You're through to the final segment of the show. Shut up and fight! Excellent proposition. It's time for... Sudden Death! Come on! Yeah, this right here, this scene actually reminds me of a scene where you're fighting Mary in the... Uh, Vamp... Vampire, vampire. I call it vampire. A lot of people call it vampire for some reason. But I just call it vampire. Boom! Right there. Really? He can turn around. Oh, he popped me one in the skull. He popped me there too. Frick! I get you, bro. No rules! No fire! Fine. I'll send Sin Fury. Kick him. Just kick him. Kick him works the best. Faster, dude. Dang. Okay, gotta remember what button's what. I'm not good at Xbox. I've never actually owned an Xbox. Oh, kid. All these years. I probably should have been a little harder. Still on the losing me. side. But I really know how hard it is later, so I don't want to drag those fights out. <laughs> Not here. Not in front of my fans. It's too late! Kill him! Oh. Wait. Oh, I am! No, wait, we can talk. Float like a I butterfly. Make any sense. Alright, well, cool. <laughs> and I want you guys to know I'm not actually Nila, keeping. Thanks to the codes you sent me, the error's counterattack will begin in just a few minutes. Use all this confusion to get out 
and make your way to slum 404. Okay. Um, what I was saying was, I don't know, I'm not keeping track of time, so if the video just kind of ends on a spot, I will do an outro, but it'll be after the fact, okay? One, yeah, three. Okay, I have to find that little sense in, it's by the fans. It's laying. There, no? Wait, which side is it on? Where's my sense at? Alright, cool. Which way do I go? This way. The name is Millen. This time, you'll remember me. Dang. At 10.47 this morning, sirens blared throughout the entire city when the Saint-Michel Dam suddenly opened, releasing billions of liters of water from the San Luis artificial lake into the peaceful Saint-Michel district. As you can see on these Sen-Sen images, the gigantic wave swallowed everything in its way. The scale of this catastrophe is difficult to imagine at this time, as the Neo-Paris authorities are already reporting dozens dead and several hundred missing. On the other side of the dam, the sudden lowering of the water level has not gone without consequence for the inhabitants of Slum 404, a neighborhood well known for ongoing social unrest. The Saber Force has immediately been deployed in and around the area to contain any potential riots. Indeed, the now empty Saint Louis Lake has put an end to the isolation of the Bastille Fortress, home of the most dangerous criminals in Neo Paris. Stay tuned for more. I kind of wish our newscasters looked like that, in all truth and honesty. It's a little 3D thing. <laughs> Using the architect's codes I'd stolen, Edge sabotaged across the Saint Michel Dam, flooding the Comfortress. According to him, it was just desserts for those who only worried about their own comfort. Why did I do what he asked? I could have left the city. Invented myself a new life somewhere else. But I wanted to come back to being public enemy number one. Was it part of who I am? Have we brought justice for the outcasts of Slum 404, or... Have my actions condemned them to more suffering? Only a militant believes that the ends always justify the means. Ed revealed to me that my memory had been conserved in the fortress of the Bastille since my conviction. I have to go there and recover my true self. The only way to get into the Bastille is with the memories of Johnny Greenteeth, a colourful resident of Slum 404. The problem is that no one knows who he really is, or where he hides out. Alright, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and next time we'll be on episode 3. So, stay tuned, my friends. And as always, guys, like, subscribe if you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, guys, stay foxy, my friends. Bye, guys.